So a father gave his son apple seeds for his birthday. The father didn't have a lot of money or he didn't have a lot going for himself. So on the day that he bought his son apple seeds for his birthday, when he goes to the mother of his child's house and she sees him empty handed, she asks him, so what did you bring our son for his birthday? He whips out a bag of apple seeds and says, this is what I brought him for his birthday. She starts bursting out laughing to the point that she can't even catch her breath. But he's looking at her with a straight face. And as she's calming down, she says, wait, wait, are you serious? He says, yes, I got a plan with these apple seeds and this is what I got him for his birthday. She says, look, one more time, are you serious? He looks at her and then looks at the seeds and says, yes, I'm not joking. This is what I got him for his birthday. Now, even though everybody is in the backyard enjoying themselves, she is in the house alone with his father and she is beyond embarrassed. She was like, you know what? You was better off not even showing or even buying him anything. Without him saying too much, she said, listen, I just found out my mom has cancer. I don't know what to do. I don't have any money. I didn't want to ask her for any money. He said, but I got these apple seeds because I came up with a plan for my son. She grabs her chest and says, wait, I am so sorry about your mom, but I'm going to be real with you. Your son doesn't want these apple seeds. He says, trust me, I got a plan. She said, you know what? Just do me a favor. Throw the apple seeds away. Do not give them to my son. He said, why would I do that? I got a plan with these. She said, do not give my son no dang apple seeds. They went back and forth for a little bit and then he said, okay, I won't do it. So after they done arguing, they go to the backyard and start enjoying their son's birthday with them. So they having the time of their lives. So now it's time for the father to go. The little boy did notice that his father didn't get him any gifts. So he asked his dad, Dad, why didn't you buy me any gifts? The father says, I did get you a gift. Come here. The father goes into his pocket, whips out the seeds, and bends down to his son. He said, look, son, this don't look like much, but this will be everything to you in the future. The son looking totally confused like, what type of seeds are those? So the father said, listen, we're going to go to grandma's house one day and we're going to plant these seeds together. The son looking bothered, he said, but dad, why would we plant seeds? He said, son, these seeds are just like your dreams. They don't look like much, but one day when you plant them and you keep watering them, the dream will grow. The little boy smiled and said, okay, dad. So one day the little boy get out of school and now he spends the whole summer with his dad. So the grandmother of the little boy has a lot of land. This land was passed down to her from generation to generation. This woman had a hundred acres of land and some of it used to be a farm. She told her son, before I pass away, I need you to make me a promise. He said, go ahead, mom, I'll promise you anything. She said, promise me, you won't sell the land. You will pass it down. He didn't have nothing at the time. He stayed with his mother. So he said, mom, I might sell a few acres. She said, don't sell one. Figure out what you can do with it. And a few weeks later, he decided to give his son some apple seeds. Now, him and his son are planting these apple seeds. Months and years would go by. Sometimes the son could not be there. But the father would continue to keep watering the plants. Now, the son is still young, and he don't know if he should be happy or sad. Happy that he see the trees growing, but they not growing fast enough. And he really don't see a vision behind the apple trees. So one summer he tells his dad, dad, I don't think I want to grow apples no more. Father says, why? He said, I really don't see no point in it, dad. The father sat down, rolled his sleeves up and said, son, just because you didn't see the progress don't mean you shouldn't trust the process. He said, dad, I get it, but these apple seeds not like making us no money. I mean, we not even getting healthy with them because we can't eat them right now. The father gets up and points at the trees and says, son, them trees will make you healthy and wealthy one day. I promise you that. The little boy says, okay, dad. And then the father says, now go out there and plant me some more trees. So fast forward. Now the little boy is 21 years old. His grandmother is on her deathbed. Now the little boy actually feels happy that he's been at his grandmother's house for every summer. 
planting trees with his father and his grandma. He enjoyed every moment and now will cherish every memory. So the young man walks into the room with his grandmother and his father. His father is holding his mother's hand, rubbing it. The young man says, hey, grandma, how you doing? The grandmother smiles and says, baby, I'm so proud of you. To be honest, he don't even know what she's proud of. The grandmother looks over to her son and says, hand me the papers. He's confused. What type of papers could these be? The father is in tears, hands the papers to his mother. And before the grandmother could give the young man the papers, the father said, mom, before you do that, hold on. The father gets up, walks to his son, and hugs him really tight. Pulls back and says, son, I'm proud of you. The father smiles at him and looks at his mother and says, you can give him the papers now. The grandmother hands the papers to the young man. He grabs them and says, what's this? They both smiled and said, just open it. And when he opened it, he seen contract at the contract at the contract of big companies like McDonald's, grocery stores wanting to rent out acres of their land. The young man said, wait, y'all made a lot of money. The grandmother and the father said, no, you made that money. If it wasn't for you planting those seeds, you wouldn't be here today. The boy said, dad, I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought you was crazy this whole time. He chuckled and said, son, everybody seems crazy when they have a dream. But the moment you reach your goal, it shows that you wasn't crazy. You was right. Son in tears, cause this the most money he ever seen in his life. And now he's gonna be financially stable for the rest of his life. And now he remember them days that his mom will always talk bad about his father. She will always bring up, he really brought apple seeds to my baby's birthday. The grandma told her grandson, baby, I hope you learned a valuable lesson. He said, I did, Grandma. She said, sometimes the little things in life, like an apple seed, can make a big difference in your life. If you want more story times like this, type story time in the comments, and your comment could be in the next story. Make sure you follow for more content like this. And to all the cool people that follow me, I'll see you in the next video.